What's good everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new to it, my name is Jake, super glad to have you here. And today we're gonna do a gift edition Throne of Eldraine bundle. And then I was thinking we might do like half of this booster box too. Uh, I'd like to open a couple of these on the channel, so maybe we'll do half, uh, half a booster box now, half with the other bundle. <clears throat> and then, as you can see, I still have a couple others here. What I was thinking was I would actually just offer maybe one or both up to uh, a sub and you know, fan of the channel, see if you guys might be interested in uh, partaking in that. You can reach out to me at summonthepack at gmail.com if you are interested. I was actually pretty lucky. I noticed on uh, Troll and Toad had these uh, available available for pre-order at thirty nine ninety nine. It was only up for a minute because I bought them. <laughs> they had six available. I got all six. Um, y y there was only four here, obviously, but I'm keeping a couple for myself just from you know personal collection and whatnot. But, oh, that's uh, different and interesting. Let's see what the art is all about in this thing. Is this the same? I don't remember. I don't think this is the same. That's pretty sweet, though. This vertical look. look. And then the thing I just dropped. Oh, let's see. Fervent Champion and, what is this, Love Struck Beast? Is that right? No. I don't know what that is. I forget already. <clears throat> it's not Oko. It's not banned. Let's talk about this box, too. I know I'm a little late on opening these on the channel, but this box is super sweet. It's, like, foily and shiny. It's pretty awesome. All right. Let's get into it. So the thing with these is it's a it's like the regular bundle, except you get... The oversized dice, oversized dice, except this one is a little different. You can see here's the the one from the regular bundle. It's completely opaque. And then the one in the gift bundle is a little translucent. I don't know, I think I, I don't know, they're both pretty sweet. But anyways, and then we get the collector booster, which is awesome, and then still 10 booster packs and then like this reference card and whatnot land pack foil lands with the promo piper of the swarm let's see here so yeah the promo piper of the swarm and then I think it's yeah it's one of every art of the lands of the basics and these are pretty sweet I'm a huge fan of these I, I like this island in particular is super cool. I love that that art. And like this plains, God, it's so pretty. All right, enough of that. Let's get into these packs. Big news, Oko was just banned. Once upon a time, banned. It's crazy. All sorts of, like stuff banned in Standard, stuff banned in Brawl, stuff banned in Legacy and Vintage. <laughs> Modern is the only one untouched. I guess Pioneer was safe too. Witching well, that's pretty sweet. Uh, happily ever after and a resolute rider. All right. It was interesting. To, I mean, I don't think anyone was surprised that Oko got got the axe. I think people were still a little worried though um, at the potential that wizards might. Might mess that one up. <laughs> there was definitely a couple of different possible approaches. They could have gone after like Gilded Goose and um, like the cat, maybe. I don't know. Flexion True. Ooh, Fable Passage. Nice. That's great. Sick. Um, and the, yeah, they didn't. They went right right at the heart of it, and they definitely went at it with with extreme prejudice. I mean, they went after. They took out. Uh, once upon a time, too. So, it's good to see that they left um, Hydroid Crisis and um, Nissa, though. I think they didn't want to, like, just say, you know, Elk Dot Deck Band. So, Aaron Craig Pyromancer, although, kind of, I guess it kind of is with Oko gone, but 
at least we can still play Oko in modern. Let's see, Drown and Lock and Black Lance Paragon. It's still weird to me, like, opening these packs versus packs out of a booster box. They definitely are different. Ooh, Bone Crusher Giant, all right. And Wolf's Query. Quarry? Foil? Tournament Grounds, Trail of Crumbs, Wandermare, and... Oh! Aaron... Cr Didn't we... No, Aaron... Cr okay. Aaron Craig, but different. Let's see. Ooh, brazen borrower, nice. That's a pretty good, pretty good mythic to get. Happy with that. Oh, and a fairy guide mother in the foil too. That's pretty sweet. Happy with that. Yeah, brazen borrower. I actually haven't had much luck pulling brazen borrowers, so happy to grab that. Grimgully. Oh, Murderous Rider. Dang, this this is actually turning out pretty sweet. This bundle has been pretty good, I'd say. Hmm. Let's see. Another Witching Wall. That's good. Uh, foil in this one. Castle Ardenvale. Oh, and a Foil Swamp. All right, last regular pack. And... Realm Cloak Giant. Oh, it's another Mythic, though. That's good, at least. We got two Mythics out of that. That's pretty sweet. Um, no foil rare. We got three foils, one fairy guide. Okay, let's crack this open. Actually, you know what? Let's save this. We're going to get to that in a minute. Let's... Go ahead and open this box. I don't know if we'll do half of it. We'll do some number of packs out of it. This is still out of that case where it's... Um, I think that this one came from, from Japan. Because the order is backwards. Just going to make this interesting. All right, Wild Tracker. A charming Prince right out of the gate. Yeah, these feel so much different. So weird. Oh, great hinge. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. I haven't um I haven't opened many of those either, so happy to see that. All right. Doom foretold. Uh not a great one. These ones open so much easier than the the U.S. packs. Stone Coil Serpent, that's pretty sweet. Happy with that. Oh, an Animating Fairy uh, story card. See how easy those open? Wicked Guardian Foil. And the Rare Worthy Knight. Uh, okay, Ranger, it's funny, I needed... Uh, I'm going to set this aside here because I actually need this for to complete. I think that was the last one I needed to complete uh, my playset set. Gadwick. Uh, that one's not great. Although not the worst by any stretch. <clears throat> Yo, Gilded Goose. Okay. Happy with the Gilded Goose. I think I'll try to put... Because I have... I mean, as you guys may or may not know, but I opened... Uh, opened Oko's like crazy in my throne openings. I think I'll probably put together uh, an Oko Pioneer deck. Just because I, <laughs> I have so many Oko's. It feels bad just letting them go to waste. Return of the Wild Speaker. 
So, and I don't have a playset of Gilded Goose yet, so that's good at least. That much closer to putting that together. Aaron Craig Feet again, Foulmire Knight. All right. Ooh, oh, another Realm Club Giant. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Shining Armor, Love Struck Beast. That's not a great one. All right, let's just hop into this collector pack. Save the rest of this box. I only did 12 packs, but we'll um, do more of this box when I do the next bundle. So we have a Barter Cow, Rose Thorn Acolyte. All right, it's cool. I'm getting uh, getting the uh, story card in the common slot. All right, now the commons, or the uncommons into the story. Ferocity of the Wilds, Embreath. All right, that's good. Bones of Unicorn, Merchant of the Veil. Vale. Ooh, Arcane Signet, nice. I hadn't pulled I hadn't pulled an Arcane Signet in this slot for me in my other pack, so happy about the Ooh, we might have gotten the topper. Torbran. And uh, not a topper. Oh, it is a topper, which is Vengeance. Huh. Hadn't I don't think I've actually seen this one yet. This topper. That's cool though, we got the we got a topper out of it. Not the greatest one, but topper nonetheless. Which is Vengeance. Alright. Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I would say that uh, these gift bundles are totally cash. I would definitely suggest picking them up. Obviously, I think I got super lucky with Troll and Toad's pre-order price of $39.99. Troll and Toad has actually put them back up for sale on their site and they're $55, $54.95. And I think that's kind of the typical price. I think Amazon, it's about that too. Um, if you guys can find them though, I think Target is running a promo. If you Google um, Target promo, toy promo, you can get up to 25% off of a single a single toy purchase and these gift bundles are considered a t the, under the toy category. So you get 25% off. I think that's great value. You get the super cool die, which I'm kind of obsessed with these big die. I think they're amazing. You get the Piper of the Swarm promo. You get the foil lands. You get some regular basics. The box is just, I, I think the box is awesome. Um, the 10 boosters and then the collector pack. I mean, it's pretty good value. So anyways, Hope you guys enjoyed it, and until the next one, I will see you later. Take care of yourselves, have a fantastic day, and bye bye